Mapulang Khalala packs away her empty corn bag. A continuing drought means her crops have failed and she's run out of food. It is going to be very difficult to live in this situation because I live on farming, so I don't know what I'm going to feed my children. Her village in the Leribe district of Lesotho relies on the food it grows. Despite months of no rain, Isaka Silesos planted maize, hoping for a successful harvest, but that's unlikely. He explains that by now, these plants should have been five times their height. The World Food Programme says the drought will hit 80% of Lesotho's rural population the hardest. Most people in these areas depend on subsistence farming and a shortage of portable water is only making the situation worse. Farmers here are still recovering from two successive crop failures and drought in 2013. According to the World Food Programme, malnutrition, disease and livestock deaths are increasing. Already, more than half of the population survives on less than a dollar a day. The worst case scenario is if we don't, do not react now, we have people who have lost their assets, their cows, their sheep. They're selling uh, whatever little asset they have. It means that they will fall into a deeper poverty. The WFP says more than a third of the population will need food assistance. The government has pledged $10 million for drought relief, but the agency responsible for disaster management says it needs three times that amount. It's still waiting for that money. If you are talking about delays, well, it goes without saying that we are a bit behind her. Lesotho's Katse Dam is the largest in the country and the second biggest on the continent. It's at its lowest levels in a decade. It's part of the Lesotho Highlands Water Project, which exports its water to neighboring South Africa, bringing in much needed income. Across the mountains, farmers like Mapuleng say any rain now would be too late. And as winter approaches, communities worry about the road ahead. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera, Nariba District in Lesotho.